For the Mishkan was furnished, that is, Chachitzon, the outer one, in which were both the menorah and the shulchan, and the setting out of the lechem hapanim. This part is the Kodesh, the holy place. And behind the parochet hashenit was the part of the Mishkan being called the Kodesh HaKadoshim, having a golden Mizbeach of Ketoret, that is, incense, and the Aron Habrit, having been covered on all sides with gold, in which was a golden jar holding the manna, and the rod of Aharon, which budded, and the Luchot Habrit, that is, the tablets of the covenant, the Decalogue, Asere Hidibrot, and above the Aron Habri, the Kavurim of Kavod, overshadowing the Kapo Red, about which things it is not possible to speak prot, that is detail. Today's series number six will focus on the menorah, the candlestick, the lampstand, Today, we will see how it was made out of a solid piece of gold. And the Lord had said, through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. John 1, 3, 4. Ora ha'olam, light of the world. Without the menorah, this holy place, which was the sanctuary, would have been in complete darkness. Darkness cannot overcome the light, and there is darkness in the world, and we need the aura ha'olam. We need Mashiach. Today, we will see that this lampstand was symbolic of a tree. There were three branches on one side and three branches on the other, and they were connected to the center, which we as uh, believers become attached to the main branches. There were six uh, branches and also seven cups of oil. This oil had to be made from consecrated olive oil, and it was the purest quality and the only way you can get that was to crush the olives. And the crushing of the oil was showing us how uh, our Mashiach had to be crushed for our transgressions. We have a, a scripture in Jeremiah 1.11, and we also have a scripture in Isaiah 53.11 through 12. And it tells us that the Nasa had to carry away our sins. He became our burden bearer. The only way to get into the presence of Hashem was through the Kaporis, the mercy seat. And the two cherubims were guarding the mercy seat because of the veil that was in front of the menorah. There was an almond that was budding out of the lampstand. The almond was the fruit of the tree. And there is living power of a tree in the fruit. In Jeremiah 1, 11, 12, I said before, but I didn't explain, it says that the branch of the almond tree was something that Hashem showed Jeremiah. And he said, what do you see, Jeremiah? He said, I see an almond tree. And that almond was the fruit of the tree, which showed that Hashem was watching over his word. There is living power in a tree and also in the fruit. Today, the lampstand is showing us there is no darkness in Hashem. And there's revelation of who Mashiach is. He says, I am the light of the world. And light to the goyim, to the nation, was when Hashem, uh, when Yeshua was born into the world. He was the light of the world. And he is our menorah today. 
So please remember, there is no darkness when you have Or Haralam, the light of the world living within you.